Hey everyone, it's Will, uh, Gamer Dad, with another live stream for you. Uh, welcome uh, to everyone joining. Hi, good evening, Tim. Uh, how's everyone going? And uh, uh, hopefully, ever, everyone has had a great uh, weekend so far. It is Saturday evening for me, and um, I did delay the uh, live stream a couple hours. I uh, just had to uh, uh, have a dinner with a family first for a change, and so hopefully, the slightly later uh, hour is not too bad for everybody. Um, and hopefully some new people can join us as well. Hi, Rice. Welcome. I'm just going to uh, wait about a minute to make sure everything is good. Uh, um, we'll see if your uh, everyone can hear me. I'm assuming, and in which case we'll be starting within the next uh, you know 20 seconds or so. So I guess first of all we're going to burn some red keys, and actually I'm going to be doing speed running for a change. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm uh, still doing Miglins. I know, Blue Rubber Ducky. Yes, that has been announced in the U in uh, Japan. So uh, you can see I'm full, actually. So we're going to go speed run these and see how long it takes. I am very much looking for the details of the Akane Manifest. I don't really know um, if anything has come out yet, but yeah. Perfect timing that I did pull that Akane um, ES uh, a couple of weeks ago. And my apologies for those who are waiting for AS Sukiya review. I've been pretty busy actually uh, with uh, uh, life, and so haven't really gotten any chance to do any new uh, videos. Hi, we can. Yes, praise be some guy. Hopefully, we have some sweet luck, and uh, you know, hit some chants and treatises. Now, for those who missed my live stream last week, we had a. Uh, uh, Pog moment. We had three chant scripts on the live stream, and we'll see if we can repeat any sort of uh, luck with that. <laughs> well, if you have a lot of the units on um, on your, um, you know, from from the beginning, they will eventually manifest everyone anyway. So I am looking forward for that, and um, I've always ma maintained that WFS really does help um, older players um, who have played the game to kind of refresh those units and make them viable again and actually spare stones as well because um you know if akane as 10 ends up being really awesome then that will actually save a lot of us from pulling on uh you know uh fire slash units yeah melissa doesn't even need a manifest honestly she is completely uh overpowered even for japan i mean some of the strategies that they have uh used with her for boss fights is just too good Hey, that's pretty good. 2,000 stones. You'll be uh, hopefully ready for Nikoko when that comes out, or if you have a, a banner ahead of time, um, then of course you can go for that as well. Did any of you actually pull on Dumeric AS? And if so, um, you know, I think some of you did actually. Oops, nothing new there. I hope I get a Lulu eventually. Always good to save stones, especially as we catch up to Japan. Uh, we will have no um, advance notice of what kind of banners drop. So, uh, you know, other than uh, if something amazing drops, we are either forced to spend sto spend real cash on stones or uh, just pass on the banner. So, hopefully, we don't have to do that. Well, ES Molina should come first, I think. So, chapter eight is coming down with a. Uh, uh, boss rush, and so uh, I will be live streaming chapter eight when it does drop. I hope you guys don't mind that I am um, uh, speed running this. We'll just kind of see how that goes and see if that uh, works out better for everyone. I think, in the terms of the unseen, one thing I didn't, I don't like about it is that it is quite random. Uh, so it's challenging in that sense, and you do have to at least survive the first turn in order to even have a chance of uh, killing the second turn. In terms of Jello, the one downside about fighting the Melosia is the fact that um, when you go from stage to stage, the debuffs don't last, and so you really don't get that boosted attack stat that you see against, for example, enemies like the Twins, or for example, um, that uh, Tempered Hound in the uh, you know in the uh, 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 time layers. For example. 
I think you can actually、um, switch to both,、uh, Tim. So, for example, if you have, if you end up having ES6 gear and you have any form of regular six gear, you can boost their、um, shadow、uh, from both,、um, you know, learning shadow items. That's my understanding. I think ES Melina will be safe. You'll either be you'll be able to boost it with the fist one or the、uh, hammer one once she comes out. Hey, Super Saiyan. <laughs> thanks, thanks for dropping by. And I know it's a little bit late for people on the、uh, East Coast, so I do apologize for that. Like I said, I was、uh, planning to do things a little bit earlier, but、uh, life kind of got in the way. And I do appreciate everyone who has joined us so far. Hopefully,、uh, the stream hasn't bored you by now. This is, our, I think, the fifth or sixth、uh, live stream, and I know some people do definitely watch this on the side afterwards. So, and so, for those who continue,、um, you know, being interested, I really,、uh, I'm happy that you guys、uh, get something out of these live streams, and I, I really like, do like chatting with you guys as well. So. Oh really? New、uh, new star dream for manifest. That should be really interesting. But the thing is, we can always wait for star dreams for、um, you know, like all all units, so you can actually catch up. Yeah, Shigiri Shigiri really needs a manifest. I mean, he already has AS、um, Pramaya as well. I was actually thinking Pramaya would come out.、Uh, Earlier than Ais Akane, but mind you, Ais Akane is an older unit.、So. Lovely, don't have any experience with her.、Uh, as a Fire Blood support, she was really well touted long time ago. So I think she shared a banner with Mayufa, which caused a lot of people to get her and a lot of salt. Hey, Melody. Thanks for dropping by. All right, second run, one Aldo Light. And if you're wondering what I'm at in terms of light. Getting closer and closer to the、uh, vaulted 255. I'm at 228.、Um, so you know, we'll be grinding this for a little bit.、Um, haven't really decided what I should be doing with my red keys, anyways. To be honest. Hey, Alex. In terms of saving your chance, I definitely do think、uh, it's a good idea to save chance, especially if you're pulling on new banners,、um, because you'll need at least five to ten. Uh, depending on what you hit, if you hit any four and a half that you want right away, or especially in the case of ESs, where yes, you will have to do that. Congrats, Blue Rubber Ducky. I will say that in general, I can't say I have too few of those Mika Hayashi. I believe I have enough for the true VC grass, actually. As for、uh, my thoughts on AS Kani, I I will say I've leveled her up to level C, and I really haven't had much experience in using her,、um, other than the fact that she's just a good fire slash. She's extremely quick.、Um, she can do quite a bit of damage. I haven't paired her with, like for example,、uh, AS Sakia, where I do think that will be, really boost her stats. So、um, yeah, I just haven't had time to really、uh, play around with the game too much, unfortunately. Um, making my voice louder. No, I actually adjusted this. Um, this is the same volume I, I always have. So, um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, is everyone else having issues hearing me? <laughs> AS Foreign is a great upgrade. Um, out of those three, Wakan, I would go probably Rosetta or AS Miu if you had if you、uh, can upgrade if you have the three DCs. Um, let's see if I can adjust it downwards. But hold on a second. How about now? I don't.、Uh, this is a. I've actually set my um、uh, background settings only at fifty fifteen percent, anyways. Hey, Sonic. 
Sonic Forces. For an AS, it's definitely a game changer. I will say I, I think a Pierce team is extremely powerful, uh, especially Water Pierce moving forward. I really do want Yukino eventually. Oh, okay, sure. I can reduce that further. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I turned down the volume on my um, on my game uh, on my um device as well since I'm using the iPad. So hopefully that's a little bit better for you guys. And thanks for the feedback, um, Vin uh, uh, and uh, Tim. I'm always trying to make things a little bit better, and I'll be mindful of that in the future as well. It's true though, I do find the game's uh, volume is actually pretty loud in general, and even setting it at 15 instead of a... If you look at your own settings background, it's actually 185 and 70 or something like that. It's actually really, really high. <laughs> five star Silva. Hey, any five star upgrade for four stars would be great since, you know, we, we usually consider four stars as, uh, you know, trash unfortunately. Hey, losers become winners. It's, it's going well. Again, congrats on your pull and uh, the video is quite nice. Myra's AS is really a great, uh, up, uh, a great unit to have. I, on the other hand, uh, I do have most of the units I want, although I don't have all the versions I want. So, I mean, obviously still waiting for any treaties for Radica, for example, zero of those. Um, I don't have any Minervas, of course, zero of those. And we'll see. I saw that, yeah, May May should be uh, coming for her, um, I guess, 5-star... I'm assuming it's just an encounter thing like Pi. And apparently there's going to be an AS Chio, right? Or Kyo, I guess. But that one is a gacha, so I don't think we'll be able to upgrade that one for free. Hey, Aubrey. Uh, Magic Team is still very, very powerful. Losers, we have not uh, uh, missed. You have not missed anything. We are only on our third run. I have gotten one light on Aldo. No treatises, no chance, of course. Congrats, Rise. That's good. Any all the true spirits, uh, uh, fire spirits, are a little bit challenging, for sure. No, I, I think the one good thing about Magic Zone teams in general uh, is that a lot of teams. Uh, uh, this is just my thoughts on the subject, but every uh, team you want to build, whether or not it's elemental or weapon zone type of team, okay, whatever type zone team you have. You need at least one or two DPS, one healer generally, I mean for shorter fights you probably don't, but I, I mean we're talking super boss fights, right? One healer, um, and one support, and of course the zone setter and so on and so forth. And so, um, in the case of Magic, alright, two light on Aldo, sweet. Uh, in the case of Magic, they have Definitely, a, you know, a type shield or a shield up already. They usually have a, a debuffs already. Um, and their DPS are obviously very, very powerful, especially given that you have AS Rosetta, really with the type down and uh, damage up depending on your MP. Um, yeah, I, I think Magic Zone is very, very um, powerful in that sense. In the case of Slash Zone uh, and, for example, Pierce Zone, you, those are also really high DPS, but you really have to make sure you have at least one debuffer. Otherwise, against longer fights, you tend to take too much damage and die. For example, I would say uh, my first fights against uh, the, the twins with a slash team were not nearly as easy as with my magic team. That's just my thoughts. Of course. Uh, AS Sukiya is very good. Um, katana booster, uh, guaranteed crit, uh, slash, um, pretty good damage, multi hit. You should save your chance. I, I mean, I did my chance in Treaty but of course it's up to you. Oh sure, I'll overkill Gilna and full bar it. Why not? I'll even do the uh, um, the Sakia uh, DPS. Yeah, that's true. I do find all, all the uh, zone names are kind of funky. They're kind of cool, but it doesn't... Yeah, the, well, I mean, my fate's end.
Don't forget, upcoming content will have a lot of HP stoppers, for, so um, your slash team might not be able to one shot. You have to at least survive the HP stopper one turn. Oh, water team against the uh, water team against um, spirit. True spirit is not a bad thing. I, I find AS Leclerc with their debuff make it really, really easy. Okay, let's bar this uh, to whatever I think I can get here. Well, all the debuffs are gone, but uh, we'll just see what we can hit here. <laughs> Of course, we want the three stacks. She would uh, normally AS Sakia would give herself three stacks if she um, if she um, VC'd in. So we don't have that, but we stacked a bunch of crit hits. So good enough. Not bad. Without an HP stopper and the way to keep the debuffs on, it's hard to uh, uh, obviously get the max max damage. So. Remember, when you kill something off, you definitely, uh, all the debuffs go, and so you don't see the true potential. But still, pretty decent. I do want ASU in. I have, uh, I still have uh, a few uh, treatises to hunt down for that, of course. Keep in mind that when I was doing uh, obviously damage against uh, uh, the boss Gilman here, we're not even fully optimized. We're just bringing random people. So you know, this is just uh, you know almost like an overworld exploration team. Hey, Varese, thanks for dropping by. Yes, I'm hoping for some good chance of treaties. Nothing yet. Too late for Aldo, which I'm already uh, happy. Uh, losers become winners. Hopefully, you get your last Fortuna again. You're four ahead of me. <laughs> Uh, all those buff will be here once we have the Goddess of Time, which is still a few updates away. Uh, in terms of magic teams being the worst, I think it's got a lot more utility um, for sure than elemental teams. In terms of weapon zone teams, I can't comment if one's better than the other. I will use whatever team I think is uh, most, uh, you know, most effective against the boss. I do think that uh, magic teams are more limited just because there's less magic users, but I wouldn't consider them less powerful offhand. I will, I have a, actually, hey Jack, I actually do have a few of the 5 star Fane songs. Uh, well, no, sorry, actually no, I don't have those yet, sorry. Uh, I will be grinding and upgrading her um, to 5 star. Uh, all story characters I do grind out to 5 star. It's just part of the completion of the game, let's be honest. And it looks like her kit looks pretty interesting. And being that she is a magic user, hey, another option for the magic team. Oh, that's true. Buying two treatises is not a bad idea if you have a lot of Severus gems. I do find most of my Severus gems go to um, buying max keys, and so you know if you do buy max keys, you only really get to save 20 Severus gems a week. Um, I try not to buy unless absolutely necessary, like for example, um, top tier DPS that I absolutely need. Or mind you, AS Radica is one of the best supports uh, and also a great great mage as well. So. I agree, uh, Aubrey, that AS Tsubami is great. Um, she looks crazy. Uh, she has a preemptive that basically is an automatic mob killer. Um, does tons of damage. Uh, we, we don't have it yet, of course, but I will be trying to add her to my team 
once it drops. Uh, I already have uh, Subami back in the day when I pulled on Goddess of Time Part 1, and so I'll be grinding, grinding those treatises out. And for those who don't have, a, for example, any form of Tsubami, uh, definitely have to save stones for that one. She looks like really, really powerful. And I think that in her banner, she will be featured. So I, I, I am guessing she'll be 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.4, which gives you a standard 2% chance on a dedicated banner if it's an AS one. I think for AS Mayufa, it's a lot tougher though. I think AS Mayufa is actually... Ooh, gate! First rare room, let's see if we can get a chance. Uh, yes, my Yufa's split, right? So she's gonna be hard to get, just like before. Nice, uh, loser has come winner. Yeah, saving and not getting burnout is a big deal. Pierce team is, uh, extremely powerful. I agree with that thing. Hi, Jose. Welcome. Yep, no, Coco, I think, is more, uh, definitely it can fit on so many more teams, obviously. AS Subami just looks extremely broken, and so, uh, yeah, I would recommend both. Oh. I'll, I'll have to see how, uh, no, Coco. Uh, comes out, but I believe she is extremely powerful DPS and she fits on multiple teams, remember that. So, oh, we'll have to do some experimentation. I haven't watched any uh, Japan live stream, so I can't tell you uh, my experience on that. But hey, I will be going for Nakoko, uh, being that I don't have any form of her. Um, and hopefully she comes home uh, to my um, team. <laughs> hey, Luis. Um, I will say that uh, I know there's a big, a big debate about uh, tier Misu um, on the boards. I, I do feel that, um, and this is just my opinion. I know that um, a lot of people disagree, but I do feel that once you get to the, uh, you know, a certain point in the game, especially if you get a number of five stars on your team, tier Misu drops off in value. Uh, now, to be fair, while you're still doing story, tier Misu is probably, probably one of the best ones. Obviously, AS Radica is another one. One shot, essentially. Uh, you know, you obviously have to grind out some spirit, but it's really, really good. Her and AS uh, Radica being all luck based. But, you know, I don't have Tiramisu, never had Tiramisu. I can't say I miss her in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but again, maybe a different experience coming from a veteran mindset where I had a lot of um, um, five stars at this point. However, don't forget that when I first started the game and there were very few five stars, I know some of you would, uh, weren't there for the very beginning. Difficult, difficult content, and so at that time, I would have said uh, Tiramisu would have been great. Bosses were impossible to take down. It would take, took a lot of planning. Ah, Leclerc. Uh, Leclerc. Yes, one of my OG favorites. My third five-star. Her aiming flood saved me countless times in other lands back in the day. Well, mind you, you had less than 10 5 stars to choose from, of course. Okay, okay, Rise, thanks for dropping by. We'll see you next time. Thanks. I think the good thing about a lot of these different uh, units, although, um, to be fair, uh, it is a little concerning with the level of power creep of the units. Uh, all the newer units are extremely great, and uh, it's just a matter of how you fit them on your team. The good thing is if you find that you have, uh, you know, enough, so, you know, enough, let's say, um, members on each of your weapon zones or magical, I mean, or elemental zones, you might not need no Coco as much, being that she fits into elemental zones. However, she does have great support um, abilities. I just don't know, you know, for some, they might actually opt to pass. In the case of AS Tsubami, same thing. It's a uh, she's extremely powerful blunt so, user. Some people don't like blunt, for example, or earth. Um, you know, everyone's choice in terms of what they like. I, um, for myself personally, if I can add both powerful units to my roster, that is the end goal. Yeah, Yuella is quite powerful. Hey, Matt, thanks for dropping by. Welcome. I I would love my. Uh, 
uh, OG Annabelle to get better um, and have an ES. I mean, the ES was good, is good, is good. And then honestly, I think she was only useful for a short time. I mean, I still have her in AS form, but just haven't had uh, much use for her, honestly. She has that, you know, the Unicorn Drive is extremely powerful, mind you. Um, but, you know, I don't use her nearly as much as some of my other units. ES Annabelle? Yep. Or, or AS uh, Deidre. AS Deidre would be great, too. Oh, that's right. Earth Slash for Nakoko. Yes. Uh, the Tuva, AS Tuva Manifest is a little bit challenging. Oh, first treaties of the night? Nothing's too special, but still, I'll take it. Alright, uh, if you check out the vi my video, actually it took, it, it actually took quite a bit of experimentation. I know you can cheese the fight as well, but the fact that it has an HP stopper and you do have to generate enough damage, I, I felt the best strategy was off, uh, to wear it down and try to survive uh, the first phase until it um, breaks out to the second phase and then bar it down at that point. However, everyone has different strategies and uh, I used uh, Wind Zone uh, to mitigate the damage. Um, I believe Minadine, um, he uses the Free Strat and he is very very talented to beat it down so you should check out some of those videos if you um, don't have all the units but I know that wind zone with AS Vena would probably be one of the preferred and easier method is AS, um, AS uh, Tuvas Manifest. Again with that fight make sure you do have uh, int debuffs for sure or type shields uh, she d she can hit you like a truck. Oh, I, I didn't use um, uh, I didn't use uh, Melissa either. Uh, Duneris is great. The extra speed. Um, he obviously has that magic counter with the heal. That, yeah, I, I can imagine him being very very good. Yeah, a AS Vena should really help. Uh, don't forget to arm her um, her Earth Shield as well. So use her two AS moves and then the Earth Shield. I hope you'll uh, be able to survive. And of course, obviously using uh, mana to um, inch down will help. Oh man, Jose. No, the Wizard Tomb is a challenging one. So hopefully you get that soon. I know a lot of people complained about that one. Pretty average uh, drop rate for our things today. Uh, you know, hopefully, if for those who are uh, uh, simultaneously grinding, either uh, on this live stream or later on, if you are watching, uh, you know, afterwards at your own convenience. Hopefully, when you're grinding, if you're grinding while you're watching this, uh, you'll have some great luck and get some chance and three DCs. My youngest son here is playing next to me, AKA Andrew Prime. He did get a chance so far, which is a uh, very nice of him. Yeah, Flame Lord was another annoying one. And of course, uh, Nadira very hard would be one of, I think, the only way, way to get it. That's one of the reasons I haven't actually grinded out uh, VC Grass stuff for Gary. Not that I really, really need it, but still, for completion's sake, it'd be nice. I would respectful, 
I will respectfully uh, disagree with that stance on Melissa not being a good boss killer. Uh, she helps set up a one turn AF uh, strat or helps you set up so you can kill in future turns. So she does really al allow for more strategies. Um, I wouldn't say she's absolutely necessary. I, I'm not saying that at all, but I consider her very, very viable for uh, boss fight strats. I think you only need one flame lord. I, I haven't I haven't gone back, so I can't really, can't really comment on Jose. Good luck, losers become winners. I've done that before, and um, if you can limp by and get to the end, that's the main thing. I think Azami is another challenging one. I know a lot of you may not grind the Azami anymore, but when I was trying to get that single Sun Tome to get her to 5 star, it was a little bit challenging. It took me about a week. On the other hand, I've had single runs for uh, other units, so you know, it, it's obviously RNG is RNG. So, whatever you guys are hunting for, I do hope that uh, you all uh, get the Treaty Season chance, and of course, even the tomes that you need either for VC Grass or for upgrading. Uh, Sonic Forces, for VC Grasset, you do need 10, right? 10 of the 5-star Tome, and then you'll have to obviously uh, burn burn them in order to get those special crystals. And so, um, I'm not going back to farm uh, Nadera Vo Volcano very hard to get more Tomes to get um, Gary use uh, VC Grasta. Yep, Vin, unfortunately no one uses Azami. Uh, she was obviously one of my um, early units being that we didn't have uh, many 5 stars at that point. And so obviously, uh, you know, we relied on her and I, I still think she has uh, room on a lot of newer teams. Keep in mind that, you know, not everyone has a stacked roster and a 5 star is a 5 star and a free 5 star is a free 5 star. She still has that counter, for example. She still has uh, wind debuff times 3. Um, I do realize she's not as powerful anymore, but hey, the katana uh, synergy is still something to be said as well. Oh, don't feel bad, Jack. I used the zombie against uh, um, the jail, uh, ice jailer, so you know uh, she still had uh, she, she still had uh, uh, abilities there, and I, I had fun using her. Honestly, it's uh, you know steamrolling bosses is is nice. But if you, as long as I, I have the ability to beat them with lesser units, that's great. I don't think I'll be able to hold back anything when I'm going against some of those super, um, you know, antique. Whenever they do that dual horror, I'll be using the best teams I can manage at, uh, at, at that time. But, you know, if the boss is uh, moderately difficult, I don't mind trying slightly lesser uh, team comps. Because let's be honest, we have a lot of different units. Uh, no need to steamroll every boss and so on and so forth. And I would definitely say as our as everyone's roster is getting better, older content becomes a lot easier as well. And so, you know, uh, I know a lot of us uh, may be feeling that some super bosses are too easy and so on and so forth. Keep in mind, um, the real challenge is when bosses come out right away, for, you, for anyone to be able to beat it with the current um, content that you have, that was a challenge. For example, when the twins first came out, very few people were able to manage to beat them um, right away. The people who did had um, had pulled multiple gacha units that were right fresh. Um, obviously Japan could beat it because they had enhanced grasses, we didn't have that in global. So uh, the twins were a challenge for almost everybody except for those who had one team comp essentially, which is like the AS Foreign, AS Seal, blah 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 blah, right? Of course, nowadays you can use anything. Magic Team, Slash Team, you know, blah, and so on and so forth. And, you know, um, same with the True Spirits. When they first came out, a lot of people were having challenges, and uh, myself was one of them. It took me a few days to kind of uh, figure out, uh, sit down and have some time to kind of figure everything out. And once I did it, I did get to beat it eventually. We're talking six months later now. Most people do have a team uh, to beat the, uh, uh, you know, true spirits, and so even though it's still challenging, a lot of people will say it's it's, it's easy now, which you know, to each their own. Okay, Geeky. Hey, Daniel, welcome. Good morning. 
Good luck, Tim. Hopefully get that Flame Lord. Okay, I'm just reading the comments here. Sorry, I was doing something else. And one and done, unfortunately. Uh, in terms of bosses that age well, um, hmm, that's a good question. I mean, we can't refight some of the uh, tougher bosses out there. So I can't comment that. I, th I do think the even the regen worm and the uh, mushroom they are still a decent challenge, um, you know, nowadays. Uh, Rot Rival unfortunately hasn't aged well. With the advance of Fire Zone, it's uh, pretty easy to beat. Earth Zone! Hey, AS Tiramisu is coming out. Vin, I agree that the Tales of Characters are among the most powerful free characters. Tail, uh, Cress and Yuri uh, are both really, really useful and actually fill a lot of needs. Uh, it can actually delay a lot of people from pulling on um, you know, other banners, especially if you're on a budget. Mila is also really good for the debuffing uh, in terms of uh, damaging debuffing. Velvet can't comment. Haven't used her in a lot of team comps myself. But I know that some people have had some really good uh, success with her. I think someone beat the uh, twins actually with just the tails of team. With grass, don't mind you, but still, all free units. That was that was done by someone in Japan. So very very impressive. You don't, you don't like Yuri? Uh, increased crit rate, um, auto heal, you know, heal type shield. VC in, increased crit damage. Katana, good synergy. <laughs> I'm not gonna try that. I. I think uh, I fought the twins enough, and I don't really need, don't need to relive that uh, relive that uh, nightmare. I think it will be easier now. Um, but again, I I'm not one of the more skilled uh, players to uh, you know really try out all those things. I, I guess I could. I just uh, you know <laughs> time is limited, and I know a lot of uh, people do have to spend a lot of time uh, creating strategies uh, to to beat some of the, the tougher content. I mean, of course, there are lots of people who just watch people on YouTube um, uh, to learn some strategies. And, uh, you know, not that there's anything wrong with it. I actually think that's great. You know, there's a way to learn. Uh, YouTube is a great way to learn strats and uh, team setups and so on that before. Uh, for myself, I hopefully that some of my videos have shown some good strategies that you can uh, take to beat uh, bosses. However, for myself as a content creator, uh, one thing I don't want to ever be accused of is uh, to copy other people's strats. And so I really try not to watch anyone's, uh, especially Japan being ahead of us, to watch anyone's uh, videos unless I'm absolutely stuck. I will say that against the twins, I did study a couple of videos in terms of watching their HP stopper. Uh, just to see kind of like how to trigger the HP stopper and so I will confess that it did take me some time and so I did look at some videos like that. Um, I think that was the main one. I think for the mayor I did try to, I did want to see how to survive the turn one attack so I did sneak peek a video there but otherwise I really tried to keep, um, keep 
from watching unless I'm absolutely stuck. So hopefully, when these new bosses come out, I won't have to uh, uh, sneak peek too long um, and create my own uh, strategy in order to beat things. You can two turn twins with really high DPS. Uh, I think did they use uh did they use um AS, AS Hozuki? I, I can't remember if they used Nosha. Again, um, I know my son had mentioned that video. The HP stoppers can be penetrated uh, by end of turn hits, like I said with uh, with uh, um, the Milsha hit, for example, or you each DPS can do one phase and do 16 million to each. So it's pretty, pretty impressive. And again, uh, lose become winners. Thank you for the kind words. It things were a lot harder back then, and so um, you know, I'm sure not you. You most of you probably don't have to rely on my videos as much for some of the content uh, strategy. Hey, school first, Daniel. School first for sure. Yeah, the, the thing about Melissa being on your turn one, uh, the fact she gives extra 30% type attack, not to mention the zone itself gives additional 30% type attack, and the Nephrite boost giving the crit damage up 30% makes a huge difference on really boosting those units. And so uh, Melissa is a really good way to set up turn ones uh, so that everyone has all their stacks, especially for AS, for example. And then you unleash all the power uh, either on turn two where each person can do one phase, uh, for the twins or so on and so forth. The other thing about, of course, turn one is you can set up a lot of debuffs on the enemy. So for example, multiple physical resist, type resist, and so on and so forth. So you can slash the crap uh, or destroy the enemies very, very easily. Hi, naughty DD. Yep, M Milsha's uh, end of turn was one of the reasons I actually summoned for Milsha. Um, obviously, as an Earth unit, she is good, but not exceptional. But as one of the, well, less common Shade units, uh, there aren't that many Shade units out there. That end and turn attack, um, hoping eventually if they do release Shade Zone, Milsha will become uh, one of the uh, front runners on that team. Nice, Glint, yeah, Glint Gaze uh, with the, uh, yeah, that thing is a. Uh, it's actually pretty good DPS. Keep in mind, it also applies a uh, crystal and wind resist down 50%, right, for one turn. Very, very good. Okay, no chat script yet. Let's see if we can get anything on. Let's get some uh, cool treatises here. I'm looking for uh, Curse Seeker. We're looking for Minerva. Uh, Fortuna, come on, anything. Again, for those who are joining the stream right now, uh, welcome. I see uh, the uh, number of viewers is uh, going up just a little bit. So hopefully you are having a great evening and Thank you for joining me this wonderful Saturday evening, grinding keys together hopefully, or uh, chatting, um, talking with the uh, other people in the Eden community. Boo hiss! Low class scroll for trash. Okay, last red key I think. I think I bought two rounds already. It went really quick now that we're going through a little bit faster, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoy that as opposed to uh, remember when I was doing all 15 fights in... Um, Zebariah. Keep in mind that normally um, when there are no manifests or no characters to level up for me, I don't uh, actually kill all 15 fights. I know that I could really level up uh, Straw Boy, and that should still be a priority, but uh, for those who don't have a 360 light team, you should definitely work on Shadow uh, on Straw Boy as you're running um, another dungeon key. However, if you do have a 360 light or Shadow and you can get the rewards from 
uh, Garelia, then it's less of a concern. So, you know, uh, whatever point you are at in the game will determine how important Straw Boy is. And of course, you can customize him uh, in much many different ways to either be a speed build or a magic user, healer, support, you know, whatever. Uh, my straw boy is at 159, I think. Silkum list, yeah, I have I have three of them, missing two. Uh, Libertina, if you don't uh, as if you don't have any extra slash zone units, that is a uh, Lulu AS is great. AS Miyu is a top priority for me. Uh, her support and DPS is something that I would love to add to my team. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, you know I didn't uh, get a chance to summon on her banner, and I don't. I feel that obviously having a four-star Miyu, I should save my stones. But it is always tempting to uh, pull on those really powerful units. Uh, for hey darkness enmity, uh, for the white doors, just pick whatever path. Uh, it's already predetermined as soon as you press enter, so it is random. But you know, it's it's fun to choose differently, and I choose differently, even though I know the outcome is already predetermined. So yeah, <laughs> uh, I hope that answers your question. All right, so no more keys there. And again, if you're asking, one fifty nine. Uh, light is where I'm at. So let's burn some green keys and see if we can get any cool things from those tickets that I've saved up this week. I hope a lot of you are uh, at the point where you can use uh, those satellite stadium tickets. Definitely worth the, worth the return on running those as opposed to using those altered ores and buying other things in the store. Unless you, you know, of course need those uh, graphs in which case you have to decide, uh, you know, what's your priority. Yes, Yukina, in my opinion, is worth the upgrade. I wish I had her as well. She's a, one of the uh, top tier water pierce DPS. Not to mention, she adds uh, uh, some support, I think, for water as well. Again, can't comment, don't have her, but I understand she actually has a pretty good kit. And her DPS is just crazy. Not to mention, the snowman looks uh, like a really great key strat too. Oh, Actual? Yeah, it feels like 50-50, but again, don't take it too hard. It is predetermined. Okay, airship, here we go. Hi, Mark. Yes, I want to get her eventually, that AS Miyu. She looks great. Congrats on upgrading her. That is... That's a pro move. That's awesome. I think three to four months, in my opinion, Tim. Uh, I want it to be sooner, but it depends on how quickly they roll out. Um, I don't know how long the translation will be. It's a pretty big update, to be honest. Whenever it comes, it comes. Uh, Vin, I am not going to pull for AS Generic. I had considered uh, getting him for a Magic Zone team or for win support, but uh, really have to commit my stones to uh, other projects, being that they're a lot more powerful units, in my opinion, coming into, uh, in the future. So. You know, that's just my opinion, of course. Uh, well, Khan, I also play this game just for fun. I mean, I, I do enjoy um, chatting with everyone and, of course, creating content, but um, at the end of the day, it's, yeah, it's just for fun, and I, 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 this is a, a game I've stuck with uh, for you know almost almost two and a half years, and I won't say I'm bored, although at times I do feel a little bit of burnout, and I'm sure all of you feel that, especially when there's uh, either in the case of very little content right now, it's only banners, and so if you don't banner, it, it's not much for us, right? Just grinding, grinding can be painful, especially when you don't get a lot of rewards. Like we burned a bunch of keys, fifteen reds to be exact, one trees, two light, nothing too exciting, honestly. 
Okay, three, two, one, and go. Wow, first one is... Ah, garbage belongs in the garbage, unfortunately. In terms of Ayas Khani worth chance, at this point, no. But maybe uh, once her manifest comes out, I think you should definitely do that. Again, again, it also depends on what else you have on your team. Nikkei AS, again, um, unless you need it for your uh, water team, for DPS, I would probably hold off. I haven't upgraded my AS uh, uh, Nikkei as well. Her debuffs are very good for a water team, so if you don't have, for example, AS Leclerc... Ooh, Magnarex, hey, not bad. I'll take that. Nothing I really need, but I'll take it. Any treaties is a nice drop. Round two. Sonic Forces, I agree. Uh, for a lot of people, just sticking to one path is probably good enough. I like playing around with it, it uh, just for fun, of course. Ah, interesting question, uh, losers become winners. If you're talking about guilty pleasure in terms of summoning, um, that I would consider not the best use of stones, but might do it anyways. I think Tiramisu AS and Tiramisu uh, Banner would be one that I could use as a Guilty Pleasure. Um, other than that, I do already have a form of Shigiri, for example. Melina, of course, uh, I already have a form of as well. Uh, Melody, I wasn't going to plan to pull for, although I do think she's quite interesting being that she benefits from weapon types, I think, right? Um, obviously, everyone knows about uh, Nakoko. Gram Brel is an interesting unit as well, and I think that, um, not sure how I feel about pulling. Uh, I think it's split banner with uh, AS Suzette, which is my waifu, of course. But, you know, it depends on how my stones are, honestly, at that point. So, if you're talking about anything as a guilty pleasure coming up, probably AS Tiramisu if I'm going for it. Uh, Darkness Emnity. If you're talking about upgrading with chance, uh, uh, free oh, free characters, I would recommend. I think all the most of the free characters don't require chance, but if you're talking the three, uh, you know, encounter units, Gary will probably be my priority. He still has a free ability to upgrade into AS Gary, which is a zone unit, fire zone, and his OG with manifest is. You can clearly see I can use him all the time, and it works more than adequately. So that's my opinion. Wow. Genshin. You haven't played it. Uh, I think, uh, I think, um, Aldo just needs 10 songs. So, you know, if you aren't able to have a 120 shadow team to grind in Snake Liver, uh, Snake Liver Damaku, or Snake Liver Damaku is too difficult, then you can opt to use Sabiris Gems and buy, I think, a few of those, um, uh, Psalms from the store, but you you can grind 10 and that don't, doesn't it require, I don't so think it requires chance. It's been a long time. 3, 2, 1, let's see if we can get anything better. Oh, slight upgrade, slight upgrade. All the 5 star is alright, but after the newer upgrades, he's going to be amazing. So definitely a priority to not only grind out, um, you know, his 5 star, keep in mind that later on, um, his damage of his moves will depend on the amount of light on him. And so, um, you know, for those who are relatively new to game, obviously using Aldo as a light battery to get those rewards for dungeon is great, but for end game users, even like myself, having close to 265 will maximize Aldo's damage.
Oh, okay. Serene. Oh, welcome to the game, Darkness, Emily. I mean, I'm hoping you join. Hey, Power Pain Bow. Great. And a Serene Light. Uh, let's see. What is my first ever banner pull that I encountered during the dream unlocking? I'm not really sure what you mean by that. If you're asking, like, what, back when I first started the game, uh, what I bought first, I had um, early on, I think I went for um, the general banner, which only had six units. Um, it only had the Tuva, you know, Tuva, Xion, uh, Lokito, Mariel, Suzette. There's the sixth one. And then um, after that, I needed an extra five stars, so I pulled for Annabelle. After that, uh, Leclerc came out, and I pulled for, for Leclerc because there's just no five stars. Oh, I still like using Jade. I love using Jade. His boost on um, on on uh, uh, um, Lance users is still unparalleled for now. I mean, I obviously you can equip that um, true Lance's prayer if you want to boost fifty percent. But he's a great guaranteed pain center. He does decent DPS, power debuff. Um, yeah, and he's free. Well, five chance free, but you know, still free. I think the attack series banner main is not guaranteed to come out, so um, hard to say. If it does come out, it'll come out this week uh, with the e uh, Chapter 8 and ES Molina. But if it doesn't, I don't think we're going to get one because um, I think we had one released at around the same time Japan did, and their units were obviously newer. We had a lesser version of, our, of theirs. <laughs> Man, Iska still haven't uh still haven't upgraded her yet. No, congratulations, Darkness MV. Uh, looks like you had some really nice pulls there, Melissa and Tiramisu. Very, very useful for. Um, definitely, Melissa will be useful all the way through, and obviously, Tiramisu will pave the way for you uh, to make things easier for you know the majority of your journey until you get to uh, the end game. <laughs> Felmina is broken. I love Felmina. Really? I, 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 well, Violet obviously can do a lot of damage, but I have, to, I will say Jade is very respectable in the damage department. Let's see. Anything interesting? Man, another Jade, a different one. I don't even know if that's any better than the support one, to be honest. So Darkness, I hope you are enjoying Eden so far, even though you've only been playing for a few weeks. Um, yeah, I, I definitely still enjoy this game a lot. Okay, this week's runs haven't been nearly as fruitful as last week's, which is unfortunate. Hopefully we have some more excitement in our next run when we buy a few, red, uh, few more green keys. Hey, those free proofs are great. Free uh, VC Grasta for all those tails of is nice. And even the free VC Grasta for the uh, P5 were nice as well. Obviously, uh, Morgana and Jokers are locked behind the first HP stopper for the twins. But the other one you can get from the, uh, obviously, the dungeon to get skulls as well as uh, Violet. And those come in handy being that Violet fits in so many great teams.
Hey, Argent. Welcome. Ah, we still have a few more runs of uh, green keys. Uh, if you're wondering what you missed, unfortunately, just a few treatises. Uh, nothing exciting. Uh, no chance. And so far, three runs in. This is my fourth run for green keys. We are at one Jada of life, one Jada of support, and the 10 scroll common, common drop as I always get those. Otherwise, uh, Argent is going well. Hopefully, uh, you've been having a great uh, day or weekend. I know in a few days you'll be celebrating something, and I'll make sure to uh, recognize that, of course. Alright, cool, Kim. Heading off? I'll see you next time, then. Thank you. We'll chat next time. It's okay, Darkness. You may be behind, and I mean, there, there is something to be said for that, but hey, you'll all the content is permanent, and um, you know, you'll be able to enjoy everything just as much as everything everyone else, only that your timeline will be pushed back a little bit. So, I mean, I always encourage people to join the game, being that we're not competing against each other, and especially if you are, for definitely some of the newer users, if, they're, if you are newer to the game, you have the benefit of watching um, some of us older veteran players kind of uh, navigate the game for you and hopefully that helps your path a little bit easier because uh, you know when when um, when we first started think there was less information out there and I think having more information out there is uh, is great for newer units uh, newer players and, and also um, newer units are a little bit more powerful than before and so if you think about it it allows newer players to catch up as well which I really really do uh, uh, hope for come on Oh, hey, a different one. We're getting closer. That is the second best prize. I mean, only a chance group is better, and we have a few more runs to try. Congrats on the chance, Argent. Yeah, I think the Steam uh, v uh, version has um, uh, has its benefits as well. And honestly, it, it, it runs pretty smoothly. Ooh, Power Pain Lance, I'll take that. Thank you on the JOA. It was a nice uh, little drop there. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Having we were having some issues, and I think we can start up again. Time to buy some keys. I apologize for that. Uh, for those who are wondering, though, I have upgraded my internet, and so hopefully we're having a smoother experience. Uh, um, this run, I actually increased the, uh, um, sp I guess the speed of my internet from seventy-five to one fifty. Uh, it was actually not too much more expensive, and so hopefully uh, it is a better experience for everyone. Yes. Any any big plans for the big four zero? <laughs> yeah, I try to save my Sabiras except for buying keys. Um, I haven't bought a tree there for a long time. And of course, I don't recommend anyone to buy any chance here. 400 is way too expensive. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Kelly, uh, Kale Falcon. Glad you could drop by. I know that, that, that uh, different time zones are challenging to catch uh, uh, myself on the West Coast on Pacific Standard Time.
Yeah, I'll save my uh, Sibiris gems for an emergency. All right, we'll buy another key. Take it here. Oh, you're gonna use Fire Zone against Fire Zone? Logi, right? Nice. Nice plan, uh, quiet, uh, quiet, uh, plan for, uh, your birthday is always, always, uh, good. I think for the fire one, if you use ASU, and apparently that's the probably. Oh, yes. Without ASU Kia, uh, it's, it's definitely obviously a challenge. I think people are using uh, obviously ASU and Yuin and ASU Kia as well. Although, again, I don't have ASU to really unlock that. Uh, well, Khan, I, I believe I would also agree with that. I would like to see a, a better future for the Beast uh, uh, folk. Not very nice so far where they're at. Okay, do we have something better? Is there any redemption? And... Oh, hey, not bad. I'll take another GOA. G dates of attacks are always useful. Uh, Sukiya boosts katana users, guaranteed crit rate, uh, obviously Howling Surge decreases physical resistance by 50. Um, not to mention, I think as she does more stacks to herself, she has additional hits. Pretty good. And of course that stacks with uh, zone too. And she's speed based, so she does a lot more damage based on speed. Ah, not too exciting, unfortunately. I apologize, everyone, for the not too exciting stream in terms of the drops. But again, I'm glad that we're, uh, you know, uh, chatting and uh, spending time together. Weapon damage buffs are pretty good, especially since they stack with type buffs um, and other uh, buffs to really, really enhance that DPS. Of course, when you're in zone, though, I don't think I think there's diminishing returns on that, is there not? <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, that's that's how some weeks go, right? I mean, I can't expect chance every week losers to become winners. That would be unrealistic. I already consider myself very, very fortunate being that on average I aim for about uh, hopefully around four chants a month. And so uh, being that I got quite a few last week, I don't expect much for this, uh, you know, for the coming weeks. RNG always tends to even out, unfortunately. So, you know, for those who are having great luck, we know that it can drop off. For those who are having poor luck, you know, uh, take solace in the fact that you can eventually um, come back to a better, better, um, better times. Hey Evander, thanks for dropping by. Ah, uh, late's better than never, and hey, it's okay, you didn't miss much. Nothing too exciting, although we still have a few more rounds to go and see if we can uh, do something uh, pog. Oh, thank you for the kind words, Wakan. I, actually the purpose of these live streams, other than me burning keys of course, is it's almost to have a little chill environment where we could just say, it's almost like chatting in the lounge, you know, uh, virtually. Uh, almost like a Zoom meeting or for those who are still in school, obviously having those, uh, you know, whatever. And we just kind of gather uh, virtually and uh, hang and uh, I think that's pretty fun. Oh, fishing, get out of here. I mean, I could if you guys really want to do that, but I'm pretty sure it's like watching paint. 
dry, so uh, probably not. Okay, Matt, no worries. Hey, we all have uh, other things to do, uh, but again, thanks for dropping by. Have a good night. Uh, Kale Falcon? No, I'm not calling for Aeus Daenerys. Gotta save my stones. I was thinking about it, and just because I have no form of Daenerys, but uh, I'm putting my stones forward for future banners. I will say fishing is very, uh, um, it, 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 it's very calming, and you can do that while you're watching TV or Netflix or anything. Come on, three, two, one, and go. No, oh, hey, better than scrolls. I'll take that. <laughs> Zoomer? Nope, we're not quite zoomers, obviously. Um, I'm not quite a boomer either. Oh, fishing? You get about 3k stones, uh, chrono stones. I mean, the weapons are not that great now, but at the time that they were out, um, they were the best get weapon, among the best weapons in the game. High level stats. Um, you also get um, Levia, which I know a lot of people are laughing at now. We'll see when AS Levia comes out and whether or not OG Levia is a requirement, how many people have to force to uh, be forced to uh, fish at that point. So I would say just for the 3k stones, not bad. That's 3 temples for those who need more stones, but I am more worried about the fact that it unlocks uh, future content, especially if AS Levia is extremely powerful. Not to mention, when I did fishing, I had no magic, uh, I had no water team. Levia was one of my mainstays, so that was a requirement for me. Had no choice. Okay, let's see if we do anything here. Congrats on the Daenerys. Hey, different times, right? When I, when I required um, Levia, then I required it. If you, nowadays, you don't, no one needs that, right? So, you know, it, it's fine. But, you know, um, those of us who started back in the day required Levia to, uh, you know, get through other lands rightly. And so, hey, different times. Like I said, you could say that Tuva was very good back in the day. I would say nowadays, not nearly as powerful. Even Xion, for everyone who laughs at Xion, among the best uh, DPS back in the day. And so, you know, we all laugh now, but uh, if we suffered at the beginning, you, it was difficult to beat some content without him. Uh, losers become winners? I agree. Yes, Gen Y. I agree with that assessment. Oh, I'm waiting for AS Levia. It will, it will definitely change the mentality of uh, fishing for a lot of people. So I honestly uh, hope and feel, and I do think that the devs are taking this into consideration. This is my opinion. I do feel that AS Levia is going to be extremely broken for a free character. I would say not ultra broken like a, like a gadget unit. I would compare the power of AS Levia is my guess to be similar to AS. Clart and Clart, AS Clart is supposed to be very, very good already. So I imagine something like that. So for people who don't want to fish, it's not an absolute necessity. However, a free get, a free unit that can do significant damage is always welcome on most people's teams. And so, um, yeah, that's what I expect. And you know, for those who want to get her, they can. And if they don't, that's up to them. I don't think AS Levia will be a gacha. Wouldn't make sense. That it just it's like saying AS uh, Aldo would be a gacha. I don't think they could do that. Um, just because you can't summon a character that you have that would have been available through the storyline. Uh, that's just my opinion. Of course, devs can do whatever. However, I also think if they did that, they would make a lot of uh, uh, their um, player base very upset, and I don't think they would do that personally. Hey, Theatric Bandits! I still haven't pulled a 5-star Mighty. <laughs> uh, Kyle Falcon. Just the force, and I upgraded it that one time when I was doing other lands rally, and I still haven't pulled one. So, hey, I put very good use to uh, Mighty uh, for a long time. Uh, not so much now, of course, but again, things change, circumstances change, and then the meta changes as well.
Yeah, I am glad that fishing is done, and to be fair, I haven't even gotten all the rewards, just enough to get uh, Levia back in the day. And I think when the new uh, areas drop, which is the um, Zol Plains, for example, there were a few other ones. Um, I did do a little bit just to get a few stones. Uh, it was It's pretty easy to get the 50 and 78 or whatever, so um, yeah. My 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 uh, rod is at level thirty. Come on, oh, F. Ah, it is what it is. That is a uh, gacha for you, RNG. Mm, I have no experience with uh, macros, unfortunately. So I'm sure if you uh, ask the uh, the uh, board. On the Reddit, they might have some experience with um, programming, one, especially if you're on Android. I think iOS is a lot more difficult, but if you're on Android or emulator or on PC, of course, you can definitely probably find auto-clicking macros and other things like that. Okay, cool theatric bandit. Hopefully you get something better than myself. Not, not too much to uh, celebrate. I'm glad mo uh, you guys are, uh, yo. Uh, those who choose to bring keys along with me is uh all right, Cybel treaties. I'll take that. Not the bad, not the worst. Oh, double light. Again, extra light for uh, free units is great. Uh, we can use them for light batteries. I'm just talking to my son here. He just side graded his OG. Uh, uh, to OG Claude so he can enhance his Pierce team with that debuff with the manifest. Although I think he should have held back on uh, instead and gotten a upgraded a different unit. But hey, he plays the game his own way and uh, I don't have much input for that. <laughs> Sometimes it does. Again, I, I think for those who don't know, I, I clip hundreds and hundreds of clips and record almost all my runs. And I just clipped together the, it's almost like the highlights of the, uh, uh of the, uh, of my, uh, you know, usually every two or three weeks. And so, you know, it, it's more for entertainment. And, and I was actually talking to my friend about it. A lot of my videos, just, just for, uh, I, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but I have a suspicion that a lot of people, uh, may not feel that I'm completely free to play. And so I put up all these videos, not only, uh, my, um, you know, uh, like uh, my treaties drops and chat drops, I also put up my uh, ten pulls and all those other things, just to make sure that there is an audit trail that um, I am not infusing money in the game. So I'm sure you all trust me that I don't spend money. However, I do think there is a segment of the population that doesn't fully trust me, and so all of those are all those summon videos are all on the playlist, so everyone can audit my complete team. From pull 179 to what a thousand whatever it is now. So, yeah. Uh, for me, losers become women. Uh, winners. I edit using iMovie on my iPad. However, when I'm streaming, for example, I run YouTube on my um, computer, and then I um, I mirror it uh, with OBS uh, on my tablet. Because I don't run it on Steam, of course, being that mobile does have a few more rewards. Um, and for uh, typing, editing, and other editing, when I publish, I do use a PC. It's easier to type. I don't have a keyboard on my mobile device either. Typing one letter at a time or one character at a time on the on a tablet or phone would be a little bit annoying. Yes, theatric bandit. I, I I don't know if they think that, but I have had people actually accuse me of uh, rare, rarely accuse me of. Oh, you know, um, whatever they say. They, I, I I prefer the mobile version uh, only because I'm more familiar with it, Kyle Falcon. Also, the rewards are better on the mobile. However, I think Steam is a great alternative for those who don't have a mobile device. Because let's be honest, uh, some people don't have the you know don't have a mobile device, prefer not to have one, or let's be honest, money might be a concern, right? All right, woo! We got one. Hey, I'll take that. Finally, overdue. Hey, what's up, Cole? Welcome. <laughs> hey, blue rubber ducky, don't feel bad. I haven't even done my um. I haven't even done the chapter seven side quest for the um mythos. 
and I have to do that this weekend before the new update drops. <laughs> Call Falcon. It's true, it's true. Most, uh, most, no, but then if I have a lot of chance scripts, it actually almost makes me look like I actually pay money too, because if you summon a lot for paid gacha, you won't need to upgrade four and a half, right? Because you'll just pull more five stars. So I don't think that's the real thing, but you know, um, hey, and we get a black manure. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take that. Okay, I think we have one more run of uh, green key, so I will buy the last two and we'll see if we can uh, double up on that. And even 1600. Uh, Evander, yes, I, I would say that in terms of units, I definitely, unit um, unit selection, I would be relatively lucky with Gacha. I actually have a database of, uh, obviously uh, on my videos, you can see how many I've pulled. Um, I've run the numbers and I'm actually not extremely lucky in terms of number of five star compared to the average. I think the average is what, one in 30 10 pulls? Like one in 30 single pulls or one in three 10 pulls. I think I'm one in 2.7. So. You could say about 10% more um, um, pulls, so you know it's not like I'm like two or three times luckier than the average. However, I will say that if you're wondering, if people are wondering how I get the selection of the five stars and being lucky that way, uh, I would say it's partially, honestly speaking, partially uh, luck and partially planning. The idea initially of those should you summon videos and a lot of some of my discussions on uh, you know, videos in general. I really want to, I really do feel that careful planning of uh, gacha in terms of managing your um, resources, mainly chronostones, because those are relatively non-renewable, but also even chance scripts and treatises. I feel that by managing them best, you make the most use of them. So I know for those who've been following the channel for a long time, you know that I, I do talk about in, that in general, and I've, I've made a number of different videos about the realities of free to play, for example, who to, uh, who to upgrade and so on and so forth, who to summon for. Um, I really feel that if um, uh, the majority of people can be a little bit more disciplined in the way they summon. And again, I'm not here to tell people how to play, but I think if they want to be more disciplined in how they summon, I do think you can really craft a great team that way. Whales, keys for AS characters? Oh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people who wail on keys, um, you know, on the, uh, on the Reddit feed, there's lots who just do that. Um, ES Molina should be released this week with Chapter 8. I'll actually be doing a live stream of Chapter 8. I think Boss Rush will be released at the same time, so depending on my time that night, because it's probably going to be a weeknight, I'll try to stream some of it, and if you are, uh, free, you can drop by. Okay, here we go. Last, the beginning of the last run, or the end of the last run. So, let's see if we can do anything here. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, hey, still not bad. I'll take a Jade. And uh, uh, we'll see what the last drop gives us. Um, we've had actually a few treatises, like four or five. Not bad. Nothing too crazy. But I'll take the, the single chant is very, very valuable. This is why we uh, prefer to definitely buy keys max each week if we have the time to grind them. They just give you that slight edge and hopefully that uh, you know, those keys can give you the drops you need. <laughs> Discipline definitely is hard to control. Like even my kids, um, most of them have no stones. So I totally understand the mentality. Oh yes, Cole, you can get a chance script eventually after you get all those things and trade them in. Um, on the very far right room, you can actually go, uh, after you get those items, um, you can turn off the water and then you can walk through the waterfall down the steps to get one chance script. So uh, keep that done. Okay, 
to end off the stream, we are going to trade in some badges this week. And we can see if we can uh, uh, pull off something cool, or if we just end it in uh, you know normal fashion, which is not much of anything. Again, I'll take a luring badge. I'll, lur I'll take luring shadow or uh, um, you know anything. Let's take a look here. Burn just a few here. Uh, low class scroll, not much here. Hey, Silver Fang! Congratulations on the manifest guy uh, on uh, beating them. I think, uh, you know, uh, there's multiple strategies at this point, of course. Tales of characters can beat most of the ones without HP stoppers, but of course, some of the earlier ones can be challenging as well. So I'm glad you got those. Colorful feather. Um, Blue Rubber Ducky, haven't uh, experimented too much this week, unfortunately. I hope to uh, get a little bit more excitement here. Okay, I'm going to hang on to these, um, these badges. I, yeah, just life has gotten in the way, a, way and I actually have been uh, trying to do a little bit more exercise and walking around outside. Uh, so I haven't really done nearly as much gaming as I normally do this week. Philo is great. For Philo. Okay, so again, um, this concludes the stream. Uh, thanks for everyone for dropping by. And we will see you either sometime this week or maybe next week on the weekend.